So Darren, a 1-1 one -one draw here today against Wheelstone. The, the game ebbed and flowed. I mean, what did you make of the 90 minutes? <coughs> well, I actually thought it was a good game. It was very competitive. Um, I thought it was um, a good, they were a good side, as we as we all know. Um, I never, I never, I never believed in our attacking or defending play today. I never felt that we were really on top of either aspect. Um, but I always knew that we needed a second goal, and, and it, we just didn't have the the tools, the timing, the attributes, the performance level, all those things um, to create that second goal. And um, because of that, we left ourselves, you leave yourself vulnerable. So um, it wasn't the worst, it wasn't the best. And if it's going to be like that, you, you need to make sure you try and add a point here and there. Uh, and, um, and we did that, and we did that. But two, two injuries during the game with Lou Wilkinson and James Daly, did, did did that disrupt the rhythm, do you think, of the team? Not if the subs that come on play better. That's the truth. Um, I thought Joe come on and played well. I thought Solomon was, was impactful without really too much productivity. <coughs> um, and Ricky's finding his way back after injury. And I just thought maybe that, that brownie type pace, and the dribbling ability might, might just open them up and we kind of create an individual goal. So I didn't really, like I said, I didn't think <coughs> the team um, was going to construct too much. Lou Wilkinson and James Daly are starters for this team and have been excellent for us. Um, James in one instance, actually in both instances, he's a brilliant defender, brilliant instigator of our defending strategy, um, but also a, a real threat and a handful. And so you bring him off, um, you have to try and find a different route to goal. And then Luke comes off and Luke's again on both instances, a very, very good defender. <coughs> But he also can construct with his passing. You saw first half when he spent quite a while down in the corner in the attacking third. He's very good at that. So it just changed the dynamic of the game. But, you know, we, Joe's uh, performance levels this season have been very high. Yeah. And Solomon's done very well for us since he joined. And um, they should be more than capable of meeting the standards required. And it was nice. Um you know, there's two two goals that Marcus Dack has, has scored now. It's a great ball in from Luke Wilkinson. I mean, that's what these players come for, I suppose. These young players, isn't it, to get begin to understand the game better? And uh... yeah, they do. That's and, that, and that's a criticism because they have to come to win. Yeah. Because the byproduct of experience and game time is that you play, you're playing and contributing to a winning team. If players are in the team and they're not winning, but think they're playing well. I don't understand what people, footballers are doing it for. We're here to win. It doesn't matter about your individual performance. It matters that the team wins. And sometimes with the team dynamic, <coughs> individuals within that team dynamic can play poorly, but you still keep the same team because the, the, the dynamic of the team is right. We, we talk about balance, don't we? Especially when we look at our national team and we watch it as a kind of, as, as, as English people, English people. We look at that team, we, we pick apart the individuality of those choices, but it's the balance of the team that matters all the time. Um, <clears throat> and I think that um, I think that the biggest thing I always say to the young ones, Charlie O'Connell and Dakers and everyone, I said it to Daniel Moss when he joined me at Yeovil, if you're coming here to win, that's fine, please, please come. If you're coming here to get experience and start talking about yourself and your career, don't come. Right. And... We came into February in third. We're going out of February in third, and probably looking at the fixtures at the start of February, it was a t very testing month. A lot of games and some very hard games. Yeah. So your fre your reflections on how February has been as a club and as a team? Um, it, it's really irrelevant. It, today is the only relevance, to, and and today is you know a, a, a kind of a meh performance and a meh result. Um, <clears throat> I think the position in the table is still irrelevant. I think we still have to focus on uh, the opponent that we face, trying to beat that opponent. And I'm very conscious of our man manager awoken to be 
or to try and do what we're trying to do takes an awful lot of focus and concentration on what is happening now or what is going to happen and what, what the opponent and the the enemy, if you like, is is arriving next week or the next game. So I don't ever feel like I can drift either too far backwards or too far forwards um, to ensure that we, we retain a, a level of performance. So, and and probably no one could criticise that statement because up until now the performance standard has has been you know of a, a good a good level, which is why we. Still competing now, so I, I don't ever feel like I can look that far. I always feel like I can only look to the next one. The next, how we play today has got nothing to do with whether we win or lose next week against Chauvin. It would be how we play against Chauvin and how we deal with them and everything else. It has been an intense month, and now uh, some respite. It's, uh, there's a there's a week's break now until next week, so. Uh, so that would be welcome, would it, just to sort of rest a few yeah. tired limbs and even two few tired heads, I suppose, as well. Yeah, and you know, the, some of the players live away from their families <clears throat> four or five nights a week. Um, they need to mentally recharge. That's the, the biggest thing. It's nothing to do with legs and physicality. It's fatigue starts in your mind and starts in your brain and then affects you. Um, and I thought we saw that today with two or three of the older ones. Didn't quite have that dynamic that they've had. Um, and they need to get away from each other. They need to spend some time away. We've we've lived in each other's pockets, yeah. travelling in that in that bus. And um, they need to now get away and go and get some new stories to tell everyone when we return back to training. But a couple of days off will do them for, uh, the world of good. And then we're. We'll go and attack Yeovil as best we can, Saturday. Brilliant, thank you. Well, good crowd today. There'll be a good crowd, I'm sure, making the trip down to Yeovil next week. I and hope we'll so. we'll see you there. Thank you.